Uh, once everyone's dead, we will we will worry about things in a second. That's the Jeep fuck face. Where is next? Peach's book in here. No, I don't know like it. Great. Well, at the, we, we, at least we got into the party in a nice way, didn't we? I didn't like end in a total bloodbath. Getting in. And of course everyone is now dead and uh very dead. Fucking hell, you pricks. Just hiding up here and doing absolutely nothing worthwhile. With your fucking time. Except fucking dying. You fucking idiots. Ah, oh, he wasn't a, a vampire. How dare you not be a vampire? I am fucking appalled by this shit. So, the room that he was guarding was where Bruno was. And when I knocked the door in, Bruno went through the door. You're right, dude. Let's just kill everyone, and then eventually we will find the fucking sarcophagus. I think that's like a my plan of action now. That's the way out, because we were there before. So, basically, as far as I can gather, none of the stuff we want is in this fucking house. That is basically it. The fuck? What the fuck? Right, so... Did he drop anything? Right, let's drop some stuff, just in case we miss something important. Uh There we go, I'll do. Right. My inventory is not full, I just dropped some shit. Uh we drop that. What else can we drop? Um This it's shit. Oh, so it's a new gun, wonderful. So yeah, um what did it say? Right. I haven't failed, but there is no evidence of anything going on here whatsoever, is there? I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I have no idea what I was meant to gain from this. Uh, this room is fucking empty. I just heard someone. Hey, where they go? Hey, hold on. Ah! <laughs> Ha 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 
reanimated the undead. I would definitely keep a book to hand. Oh, I'm convinced I missed it. I vaguely remember it being in the fucking main place or something. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Zombs. I'm not overly concerned about you guys, to be honest with you. See, well, I'll keep running. And you die horribly constantly. And that, that works out well for all of us. Which is really fucking ominous, doesn't it? Right, so if I were. Alright, dude. That actually scared me quite a bit, but for some reason I didn't freak out as much as normal. Uh, if I were. I am convinced I've missed a fucking book. I am convinced of this. It's alright, though. We'll work it out. I have no fucking clue where I. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! That was pretty close. Right. Satanic rooms. That's how we get out, I think, of. Alright, since the zombie pits we could have fallen into. Awesome. I'll be right back, guys. Just out of the way a second. Sorry. Sorry. No worries, no worries. You're all about as maneuverable as a fucking brick. So, uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. Guys, 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 out of the way. Please cooperate. Thank you. I have definitely missed this. Off. Just fuck off! How the fuck did you do that? You piece of shit. Yep, open. Brilliant. Fucking guy! Who else wants a fucking katana? Do I have to do something or something? I don't know what's going on here, to be fucking honest with you, 95 fucking percent of the time. Right, that just died. So how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, there you go. Well, this isn't boring at all, I predictable. I have no idea what's going on. I really have absolutely no fucking clue what's happening. Mm. This is so fucking linear, I... Uh, I must have missed the fucking book. I must have missed it. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. They look like fucking doors as well, look. Please be a place with a book. What the fuck is the point of having this room? Oh, here we go. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh my god. Right, guys. I have definitely run out of recording time now. Um... I'm going to attempt to find out where Peach's book is and reload an appropriate time if I have missed it. And then we'll go from there next time. <laughs> but next time, fucking loads of fucking confusing sewers. On Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Bye for now. Bye for now. Hello everyone. It is Mangaminx here. And as you can probably guess by the fact you're seeing this section again, I forgot the book. And I was looking at it like a complete spastic for fucking ages as well. It is uh, apparently in this room. And I am going to find it, and locate it, and everything's going to be fucking fine. And we'll all be happy. And it'll be fine. Because apparently it's in this room. I can't seem to find it anywhere though. The fucking guide said, oh it'll be in this room. Don't worry about it, it's definitely in this room. And by the looks of things, it clearly fucking isn't. Because I can't see it fucking anywhere. Oh this is going to be, this is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh hang on. There we go! I've got the book. Why wasn't it glowing? Why the fuck wasn't it glowing? It doesn't matter, because now I have the book. And we can continue on with our merry adventure. This time, I've got my katana at the ready. And these fucking zombie scumbags are not going to know what hit them once I put it through their faces. We're going to do this whole section again. Yeah, I know it's boring. I know it's the same fucking video because I didn't record enough last time. But fuck it. It's the thought that counts. 
it is the 2nd of January today, and we are going to be hopefully doing a large chunk of this game. <clears throat> How the fuck do I get out of here again? Do I have to kill these pricks? I'm pretty sure that opened last time, so maybe it's directly correlated to me slicing the fuck out of these pricks as quick as I fucking can. Yeah! Fucking take the fucking katana, you fucking scumbags. Anyone else want some, huh? Yeah, you do. You fucking want some, don't you? You fucking brain-eating pricks. I tell you what, my brain is nowhere near that interesting, I tell you that. Right, let's go. We're going to get through this section. I think it's going to be fine. I can't actually remember what happens at the bottom of this place, but I know it's a load of shit. And it's going to be tough. And it'll probably involve me fighting a boss that I can't fight. Okay, let's keep going. Right. Uh, I love the way just because I got my katana out, the game's assuming that there's loads of combat going on. This seemed to go okay last time. Yeah. Look at that pro stuff. Look at that pro stuff. It's like I know exactly what I'm doing or something like that. I don't, I don't know where I get that idea from, but fuck it. I'm going to go in here. Kill these pricks. Hopefully I can avoid being chewed on this time as well, because I don't really want to be chewed on if I can possibly get away with this lack of being chewed on. Okay, let's run through this section here. Guide it quiet. Guide it quiet. Guide it quiet. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but you are a bit of one, you know? A bit of a one. Okay. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly back to where we were. See, we did this in double fast time this time, guys, and everything's absolutely alright. There's no need to worry at all or be concerned about anything ever. Right, okay. What I am going to do, however, once I get out of this fucking place, is, uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I made a mistake here, didn't I? Yeah, I fucking did. For fuck's sake! Where did I miss? What did I miss? There was a door I missed. For fuck's sake, I missed a fucking door. Oh, I'm going to be there really quick, aren't I? I'm completely lost. Let's level with it. I'll level with you guys. I'm lost. I definitely came this way before. I'm sure I did. I don't know where I'm going! <laughs> Everything changes in a matter of days! Good news though, guys. I've got Jade Empire working on the PC, so you can expect that next time you are uh, next single player game from me alone will be will be this game will be Jade Empire once this game is finished of course I'm gonna finish this game got this far I'm gonna give up now please fuck off I'm going down here okay that's good that's good we made good progress there we're back on track we had Peter's book and um, you had a video of me running through a catacomb uh, one second guys I'm just gonna check this is recording fine and then I will be right back be right back. Okay there. Uh, you're now back. Everything seems to be recording fine. Uh, turn my voice down a little bit. What the fuck is going on here? Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now or face the consequences of your actions. Wow, I certainly got down there quite quickly. Uh, let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Well, I kind of are, because you're the one that's going to kill me. <laughs> I've got to get a publicist. You two obviously aren't aware of my reputation. We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? So the Chinese vampires are also here to take the coffin by the looks of things. <laughs> Alright, you double dragon refugees. Let's do this time. The time for decisions has... I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing here or how difficult this is, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty fucking difficult, actually. Wow. That is kind of fucking cheating. Although I didn't actually seem to damage it at all. I wouldn't miss that. Yeah, stop hitting me. At least they do normal fucking damage. That's always a good start to a fight. Has anyone got a gun to be shooting me? I don't really know. This is brother is pretty shit though. 
Oh, they're doing something. I'm assuming this isn't good. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Is he dead? Yeah, why didn't you go to dust? He's a fucking vampire. Whoa! Using grenades is totally out of order. Good old fashioned katanas are for the best. You all know this, boys and girls. Oh, what are you doing? For fuck's sake, get your ass in gear. Stop teleporting around. Oh, look at me. I can teleport. I'm so wonderful. You know, it's like... You're not that good just because you can teleport. I mean, you're fucking seriously. See? As soon as you fucking actually start fighting me on level ground, I kick your fucking ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to fly around again. I'll have a cup of tea while you fly around. It's not a problem. And, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just relax. We'll have fun. And... See, my health is regenerating so fast, you're not actually making an event on it, really. Are you? Come on, fuckface. Where the fuck are you? See, as soon as it comes to one-on-one... -on -one. Oh, okay, you're twirling me quite a bit this time, but it's down, it's fine. Oh, fucking come back. Come on, please. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Come here. I want a hug. I want a nice hug. Come on. Come on. Ow. Come on. For fuck's sake, stand still. You're nearly there. You are nearly dead. Oh yeah. They were piss easy bosses compared to some of the shit we've come across here. And here is the Ankara sarcophagus. I picked it up apparently. Hurrah. Okay, so basically, uh, we killed the Giovannis. We killed some Chinese vampires. Therefore violating the truce. But I do have a coffin for Lacroix. And everything's fine. Nothing to worry about at all now. The game's finished clearly. And that's it. The end. Wonderful. Hope you enjoyed the Let's Play, guys. There is more, of course. God, I walk so stupid! And off we go with our merry uh, cargo in tow. And the Ankara sarcophagus is finally the glorious Prince Lacroix, aka mine. I'm not actually sure what happens here. But I can assure you, I will not be siding with that prick LaCroix. In fact, I may as well tell you now, guys, that if you side with anyone other than yourself, the game is over. So at this point, oh, here's Beckett. How you doing, Bex? Let's go and talk to LaCroix. My Wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come. I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Ah. Uh, yes, let's. Okay, so anyway, let's have a look inside the sarcophagus. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't, as yet, had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Wonderful, so we fucking have to do everything. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Ah, uh, so how do we open it? In the last few seconds, I've had very few epiphanies. I may be old, but I didn't build it. How knowledgeable are you on ancient Assyrian funerary constructs? I'm an expert, Beckett, you know? Ah, uh, Assyrians, didn't we go to war with them a few years? <laughs> oh, God! 
Uh, not very. Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Uh, the guy on the historical network with the pith helmet? He makes learning fun. Uh, no. His name is Dr. Ingvar Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. I've forgotten this bit, bullshit. Uh, so where can I find him? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. Ah. Uh... Damn it, why does everything have to be so difficult? Blast. Where's the fun? Without complications. So where is he? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding your hands oh, fucking captive. vampire hunters are... Uh... So, what do we do? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Ah, oh, so it's a trap. Wonderful. Uh, I'll go. Hunters aren't anything I can ha can't handle. Hmm. It's easy to assume proficiency in something you've never done, isn't it? Yes, it is. I've fought hunters before. Be that as it may, these hunters are leagues above the security guard turned vampire killer <laughs> you might have encountered thus far. Ah, uh, so what do I do? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I'll kill every hunter in the place if I have to. I'd recommend no other course of action to the foolhardy. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Aw. Ah, uh, I'm ready to go get the professor. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Okay, let's go. I think we're just teleported there, probably. Or maybe not. Maybe I can actually go and hand in the quest to Pisha. It looks like I might be able to get away with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go, before I go and get the cab over, I'm gonna go and hand in uh, the uh, quest to Pisha, so that's done. This part of the game I've completely forgotten, and is another part of the game that frustrates me greatly on many occasions. Uh... In fact, to be fair, from here on in, we just have, like, outdoor areas where we fight monsters from now on. And some indoor. But there's no, like, there isn't any more side quests or talky bits like that. We are literally going to be getting down. I'm not going to do the garage stuff because I've heard that there's lots of extra, a lot of extra chain has been added to that. That is just entirely from the new patch. And, um, yeah. Oh, while we're on the subject of the patch, though, I know someone asked me yeah, how to install it properly. I really have no idea. I just installed the first official update from Troika before they went bankrupt. And then I installed um, the other patch, the full version, on the link I provided on an earlier video over that. And that was it. That's all I did. Um, and it worked fine. Um, to get the game running, I had to disable one of the cores on my processor and make it use an older service pack as well. Um, which you do via the properties tab of the shortcut to launch the game. Why the fuck can't I get down there for fuck's sake? Fucking... It's the last fucking thing I need sometimes. It's bullshit fucking things like that, you know? So yeah, um... Yes. Here we go. Here's the book you were looking for. Congratulations, Peter! You can eat more people now! Hurrah! The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly shared her secrets. And I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? I brutally killed all of them. Ah, uh, the Californian Giovanni just made the endangered species list. 
It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. Thank it is you very much. Armut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. Ah. Uh, thanks, but I think I'll stick around. Goodbye, Pisha. Goodbye. Enjoy your dead people. Bye. Okay, I better actually spend some of my skill points because I have 13 now. Gonna put firearms up again, I think. Uh, to be fair, I think that's probably gonna be for the best. Um, gonna increase hilarity as well. Just for a few fights, might make it a little bit easier. Or should I? Max out that. I need 12 for that. Um, well, what does this do? Ah, uh, perception. Oh, can boost my gun again that way. Okay, so uh, we should be a bit better at shooting things now as well, which I will need to do, especially when we take on a certain uh, pale-faced Chinese woman, who I think is probably the hardest fight in the game by a considerable amount. Uh, well, it was last time I did it. I don't know if the patch has made it more manageable, because Ming Zhao as a boss fight was seriously unfucking unmanageable last time I did it. LaCroix and the end game bosses, which aren't LaCroix or Ming Zhao, I won't spoil who they are, were reasonably easy when compared to Ming Zhao. Really, she she takes the piss with her difficulty level. Need some blood though. Hey, I'm good. Let's just go. Come on, let's go and get some lovely blood. I'm not quite sure where an alleyway is, but I'm sure I can find an appropriate one that you can uh, nip down with me. Come on, let's go. There we go, lovely. Okay. Hi. Let's have a nice little drink. Get some more, uh, get some more blood. We need to top up a bit after that fight with the uh, the Chinese vampire brothers there. There we go. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Out the way. Out the way for fuck's sake! Look at this fucking idiot! For fucking 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 fuck fuck fucking asshole. Fuck. Okay. That was really annoying, but I uh, never mind. Oh god, that sorry that really gets on my nerves when uh you if I can do stuff like that and the NPCs constantly block your way in this game. I mean like fucking constantly, it's ridiculous. Also, while I remember, we're gonna quickly pop to Santa Monica and we're going to uh just go pick up a gun from uh the lovely uh, Mercurio, is that I think that's his name, Mercurio, not Mercutio, and uh, because I think we could do with a, an assault rifle this time round to uh, to fight the vampire hunters. Don't get me wrong, I don't think a society of Leopold is that difficult. I, I, I can't remember the boss being that tricky, but I can't remember. It's been a long time since I did it. I know that when you buy this game new, it had a game-breaking bug at launch, which meant you couldn't get past the Society of Leopold. Uh, I think as soon as something happened, the game was unfinishable. I'm pretty sure that's been fixed, though. And if it hasn't, oh, well, it's been a good Let's Play, hasn't it, guys? Yeah, I I'm sure you won't mind if I don't finish it. It'll be fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to abandon the whole Gary idea, though. I'm not going to do the rest of Gary's quest, like I said, because... I just don't have the patience. And while I've enjoyed playing through this game, I want to move on. You might uh... What is he selling now? Where is it? There we go. Oh, a flamethrower! Oh my god. Oh my god. And a fucking sniper rifle. I had a fucking assault rifle. I don't actually have that much money. Can I sell some stuff? Like shit guns. <laughs> Okay, so the fucking easy. That is a bollocks gun. Uh, I'm gonna sell the crossbow as well. Uh, may as well sell the old outfits. Can I sell that? Can't sell, can't sell. Wonderful. I can sell this ring. Wonderful start. What else do I have? 
Um, most of this is like usable, unfortunately. There we go, get some money. Oh, I get quite a bit of money from those, that's good. Um, 